Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss Snowflake interview questions and answers. This is the 17th video from Snowflake interview questions and answers playlist. Here is the first question. Scenario, assume that you have created a sequence S1 just now in your Snowflake database like this. Create or replace sequence demo db dot public dot s1 start equal to 1 increment is equal to 1 sequence s1 successfully created now question is here what is the output of below query select demo db dot public dot s1 dot next value comma demo db dot public dot s1 dot next value the answer is 1 and 2 if you see some other databases like oracle if you execute the same query the answer would be different the answer like one and one in snowflake if you call sequence from single statement as many times the value will get increment one as part of sequence definition like here increment is one so if you call this statement uh, next value in a single query five times then one comma two comma three comma four comma five like that it will increase question 2 write your query to print numbers numbers 1 to 100 in snowflake the answer is there are multiple ways to write a query that prints the numbers 1 to 100 here are some ways by using the generator table function we can write query to print 1 to 100 please note that in the screenshot i didn't keep the all the output only i kept the 94 to 100 but the same query generates 100 numbers 1 to 100 the another way select value from lateral split to table of array to string array generate range this is the new function array generate range function from the array function so by using this query we can generate 1 to 100. Here is the another way with recursive query you can generate 1 to 100 numbers like you know with recursive numbers is the name and in, inside the num is column as select 1 as num union all select num plus 1 as num from numbers where num less than 100 select star from numbers like this we can write a query to print 1 to 100 we have a different ways to do this question 3 do we need a do we need to use a warehouse to run the below query select max of ename from demo db dot public dot employee table the answer is yes we need warehouse as part of this video what i have done if you execute the first time this query then it will require a warehouse after that it won't but the very first time if you want to test that one you just disable your result cache and then check the warehouse status if it is running then suspend by using the suspend command and then run your actual query select max ename from demo db dot public dot employee table and then after executing that query you just show warehouse like your warehouse name then the state you see started here to run this you know query use the warehouse scenario assume that you have created created table employee and inserted some rows into a table into table as mentioned below here is the structure of the table cell where care created a salary column with where care and total rows are there four rows and then distinct values if you see four rows is number only all numbers okay now question is it possible to change the data type of cell column from where care to number 30 comma 2 the answer is yes however directly altering not possible okay here if you do directly like alter table table name alter or modify column cell okay we are going to get the error like this cannot change column cell 
from type var care to number so how we are going to do by adding the you know, new column another column so to do that as part of the first step you need to rename the existing column like you know cell to cell underscore rn and then add new column called cell with required data type like number 30 comma 2 and then update the new column with old column and then drop old column question 5 is on error copy option supports all file formats for the copy into table command with either parsing or transformation errors the answer is yes if you see the screenshot uh, with the release february currently on error values work as expected and are cons constant for all structure and semi-structure files including csv tsv json avro orc parquet and xml before february release on error values work as expected only structured data files like csv tsv etc thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel like it and share it to your friends Thank you once again.